Hi and welcome to the video on equivalent equations. By the end of this video you should be able to find an equivalent equation and solve an equation systematically. So let's take a look at what that means. An equation is something with an equal sign. In this equation x equals 8. It has a value and the answer is 8. Now an equivalent equation is where we manipulate this so that we do the same operation on both sides of that equal sign. So for example, I would get an equivalent equation if I was to multiply both sides of my equation by 5. If I multiply the left side by 5, I would get 5x because 5 lots of x is 5x. And if I multiply the right hand side by 5, I would get 8 lots of 5, which is 40. These are equivalent equations because x equals 8 in both of them. Now I can manipulate it in however way I want. Perhaps I want to add 10 to both sides of this equation. If I was to add 10 to the left hand side, that is to add 10 to 5x, I would get 5x plus 10. I wouldn't get 15x because they're not like terms, so I can't add them together. I can however add 10 to the right hand side because 40 plus 10 equals 50. Now I have another equivalent equation. It's more involved, there are more terms, but it is still have a, it still has a value that x equals 8. Maybe now I want to do something with some pronumerals. Perhaps I want to subtract 2x from both sides of my equation, which I can do. On the left hand side, I can subtract 2x from the 5x. So I would get 3x plus 10 equals. Now the right hand side would be 50 take away 2x. I can't subtract 2x from 50 because they're not like terms. So I would just write them out. I now have four equivalent equations all because I conducted the same operation to both sides of my equal sign at each step along the way. Now what happens if I want to undo everything that I've done? Well what I'm going to have to do is complete each of those same operations just in the reverse order completing the reverse operation. Here's what I mean. The last operation I did was to take away 2x. So the first operation that I'm going to do to get rid of this minus 2x is to do the opposite of take away 2x, which is add 2x. I'm going to add 2x to the right hand side, which will get rid of this part of the equation, and I'm going to add 2x to the left hand side as well. When I add 2x to the left hand side, I get 5x plus 10, and on the right hand side I'll get equals 50, because minus 2x plus 2x is 0. It cancels it out. Next up, I'm going to do the opposite of plus 10, which is to minus 10. So now I'm going to minus 10 from the left hand side, which will just give me 5x, and I'm going to minus 10 from the right hand side, which will give me 40. The final thing that I'll have to do is do the opposite of timesing by 5, which is dividing by 5. If I divide the left hand side by 5, I get x, and divide the right hand side by 5, I'll get 8. This is a way of manipulating and creating equivalent equations, and this will help us when we want to solve these equations systematically. Basically what's going to happen is, you're going to be given this line here, and you'll be expected to work down each step along the way in order to solve for the value of x. So let's take a look at a couple of examples where you'll have to solve an equation. In this first equation, we have 4m take away 16 equals 32. My goal is to have an answer that says m equals and then a number by itself on the right hand side. This means I need to get rid of the minus 16 and this multiplying by 4. What I like to start off with is a line underneath my equal sign so that I can keep my equal signs for my working out directly underneath. Now I want to get rid of this minus 16 and this times by 4. The way I do that is by getting rid of the, the way I get rid of minus 16 is to add 16 to both sides of my equation what I'm doing is completing the opposite operation of minus 16. The reason why I do this is because when I do minus 16 plus 16, I get an answer of 0, which will cancel them out, leaving me with just 4m on the left hand side. This is really good. But on the right hand side, I need to make sure that I add 16 so that I balance my equation. So 32 plus 16 will give me 48. Now that I have an equivalent equation of 4m equals 48, I need to get rid of this times 4 here. The way I get rid of this times 4 is by dividing by 4 on both sides of my equation. By dividing by 4 on the left hand side, it cancels out the 4s, leaving me with just m on the left hand side, which is my goal. 48 divided by 4 on the right hand side gives me an answer of m equals 12, my final solution. I can check that this is correct by substituting m equals 12 into my original equation, 4 lots of 12 is 48, and then when I take away 16, 
I do indeed get 32, meaning that my solution of m equals 12 is correct. Good for me. Let's try a slightly harder one with some negatives. Example number 2 says 24 minus 5x equals minus 6. I need to get this x by itself by getting rid of the 24 and the minus 5. I start off with a line underneath my equal signs to make sure that my equal signs will be underneath each other. And then I need to either get rid of the 24 or the minus 5. Here's the way I like to think about it. I like to get rid of the number that is furthest away from the x to start off with. In this case, it's going to be the 24. When I say get rid of the furthest one away, I don't mean on the right hand side of the equal sign, I mean on the same side of the x. So by getting rid of this 24, I will subtract 24 from both sides of my equal sign, and that will cancel out these 24s, because 24 take away 4, 24 is 0. What do you think that leaves me behind? What's left over on the left hand side? If you said just 5x, you'd be almost correct. What's left over on the left hand side is the minus 5x. The reason for that is because the minus, or the negative, belongs to the number in front of it, not to the number behind it. So this will be minus 5x equals whatever minus 6 take away 24 is. Feel free to use a calculator to make sure, or if you're good with your negatives, you'll know that the answer is negative 30. Now I want to get rid of this minus 5, this negative 5. Now a lot of students will incorrectly believe that you would have to add 5 to both sides. But remember, this is minus 5 times x. And if I want to get rid of minus 5 times x, I need to divide by minus 5. And I'm going to do that to both sides of my equation to keep it balanced. By dividing by minus 5 on the left hand side, I cancel out these minus 5s, leaving me with just x on the left hand side. By dividing by minus 5 on the right hand side, I'll get my solution, which is going to be positive 6. Again, I can check this answer by substituting it back into the original equation and doing 24 take away 5 lots of 6, which is 30. 24 take away 30 is minus 6, which means that my solution of x equals 6 is correct. So those are our examples. What should you do now? As always, you should pause the video, summarize the notes that have been given on all the screens, and then use them as solutions and work solutions for your work during class. And that's it. Hopefully now you know how to find an equivalent equation, and then also then move on to solving an equation systematically. Good luck.